Hey guys, I don't know if you're like me, but I love Count the Dings and everything it has to offer. I just can't find everything I need. You know, I know about Cinephobe and I know about the mailbag. And I know about Bomb, but that's all we do, right? I mean, no, we do so much more. What? Yeah, absolutely. If you sign up, patreon.com slash count the dings, you'll find a plethora of other content, fresh content, extended content, the OG pod overflow, the Cinephobe cold opens that we've taken and made their own thing to live only there the re-watchingtons bomb and it's full Ooh. and unadulterated cut early drops of cinephobe episodes and so much more said the og pod now is it new or is it old mace i'm glad you asked that it is a new incarnation mm -hmm. of the old og pod oh. so it's me zach trey Waz, tom i love those guys just like we always were going back to the true hoop days mm -hmm. we're recreating that magic recapturing it and putting it back out we're talking hoops we're talking pop culture and most importantly we're talking for 40 minutes for free mm -hmm. but then another specific patreon exclusive segment for every one of those episodes funny enough about that og pod you're getting tom and trey on mondays you're getting me and waz aka zosny on wednesdays a means floating in between i'm a floater you never know when you're gonna get a mean in those so you gotta listen to them all and what if i'm not sure what maze looks like because i've always thought he's a fat man with a fedora he's got a weird voice how can i see for myself what this maze character actually looks like it's crazy you don't know the answer to this mm. because it's the cinephobe pod youtube page what the ct5s on the cinephobe pod youtube page you can look at all of us you can get all the og pods on youtube too at count the dings one on youtube at cinephobe pod on youtube patreon.com slash count the dings gets you everything all in one feed you can link it to your spotify and now enjoy the show hey listener underdog fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry you can play pick them pick whether your favorite players will have a higher or lower total in each stat for this week's games for a chance to win big you can actually win up to 100 times your money in a single night that's right i didn't say 10 i didn't say 20 up to 100 times your money Pick between two and five players, build a pick'em entry. My favorite feature, you can make rivals picks. Pit two players against each other. Wembenyama versus Nikola Jokic. Tim Hardaway Jr. versus Norm Powell. Kawhi Leonard versus Steph Curry. Who knows? Maybe Grayson Allen versus Pat Connaughton. You get where I'm going with that. You can do it all with Underdog Fantasy. Make sure you sign up today with the promo code DING. That's D-I-N-G. And get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pick'em special. Visit underdogfantasy.com or find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with our promo code DING, D-I-N-G, to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as an instant pick'em pick them special must be 18 or older and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concern with your play call 1-800-522-4700 or visit www.ncpgambling.org this episode is brought to you by shopify whether you're selling a little or a lot shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching from the launch your online shop stage all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. Dreaming of a better sleep? Tossing and turning is not your destiny. And Ollie is here to help. Ollie invites you to sink into sweet, sweet slumber to improve your mental and physical health and overall wellness. More than just melatonin, Ollie's ingredients help you unwind your mind for a delightfully dreamy drift off. Sleep is on the way at Ollie.com. That's O L L Y.com. This episode is brought to you by Paramount Plus. Ewan McGregor stars as Count Alexander Rostov in A Gentleman in Moscow, the new limited series based on the best-selling novel. Stream it with the Paramount Plus with Showtime plan. Visit ParamountPlus.com to try it free. Do you guys Ray Charles it when you try to check for lag? That's what I do. 
what does Ray Charlesing it mean? You just move like this. That's not what I thought Ray Charlesing it was. What did you think it was? He's grabbing a fat bitch by her wrist. Whoa. Oh. Kerry Washington. Well, oh, that's it. I mean, Ben Affleck. I, I couldn't tell you if he was, if he was ass on or ass off, but what if I recorded Washington the podcast was. like this? Justice is blind, but it can be heard. <laughs> Such an ass on goddamn statement. Is that a tagline or is that from the what movie? If, that's from the movie. That's, that's he from the movie. In court. He's in court he when says, he fucking says yeah. that. Coolio said it. Well, no. Coolio. What what does what are Coolio's lines in that movie? We don't know. His lines? I don't remember his line. He's he's not in the movie. Are the you the only thing that I you're remember? You're the only one who saw him, right? Yes. The only thing that How I do remember we know that this off happened? the top of my head is that he goes into like a like a meeting room or like an interview room, you know, that you would have in a police station or in a mm -hmm. a court, and he sits across the table from Coolio, Dante Jackson, the criminal. And reviews his case. That's all I That's remember. Racist. Dante Jackson. That's a racist. Dare da Dare Devil Dante Jackson. Yeah, also how the Jackson part is more is more racist yeah, than the Dante no, part. Yeah, it's like Dante Dante. I don't even In know. Even Dante whiskey or something like that. Yeah, Dante DiVincenzo. So can I tell you guys something that I am incorporating into <laughs> my CT fives from now on? What's that? So I'm gonna try to challenge myself to pick. One thing for the list, whatever it is, from each 50 episode period. So basically a year. Oh. So I'm doing the first 50, the second 50. You know, we're into the, the 220s now. So that's the I fifth. Ha I hate that. I mean, Great. he's doing it, it like <laughs> this it's is the so thing I don't get about you this, guys. Like, no, when this someone is, comes up this with exactly something that all they the want to do, I'm doing something. Did I say you had to it's do it? Did I say you no, even had to like it? Just pick the list. Just pick the list. Like it's, that's all it's got to be. Just pick the he's list. Telling you like, how he wants I'm to gonna, pick the list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this system. You don't have good systems. This is a bad system. You have no. You have one well What's you're your working system, from Zach? here. My system. Analog notes the, and chimpanzees. <laughs> What's wrong with that? AI. Do you do this you ask bad. your meta AI what should go in your CT5? I'll ask it right now. What's up? Chimpanzee making a top five list in a notebook. <laughs> Chimpanzee making in a composition a list. composition notebook. Well, hold on, let's see what the, let's, let's not throw a thousand adjectives and nouns at it first. All right, sometimes I wrote you know chimpanzee bartenders who can't do it. So it we got to. It, it claims to like specificity. It doesn't though because it hit. <laughs> it claims. <laughs> It's this always is, telling us they, that it wants you just, to be specific. They just get me. They just get me, man. It's a real nice office. There we go. There we go. How about that? Hmm? What do you got? Am I going to like this or am I going to hate it? Uh, okay. I mean, that's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's more filling out a form. like a. What's, yeah. This, looks, this is a clipboard. This is a clipboard. It looks like it's like at a doctor's office. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, let's see. What, oh, chimpanzee. Also, that's a great view at that window. Yo, that you think that you think that chimp has been not working its ass off? All right, we'll try this one. Yeah, because it's not really making a list there, like I like I specified. No, well, it it is. It's just doing a list like it's um. Like a on a clipboard, like a, the, a foreman or a manager would, you know. He does look stressed, though. I do kind of just wish this was just like I didn't have to take screenshots. I have so many screenshots. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can I mean, copy and I mean, delete, right? I mean, you have no idea. Like I just sent you're so saving, many to the mailbag. You're saving last the night. screenshots. Wait, are you yeah, saving, saving the screenshots? Them to send them. He's not deleting them once he's sent them dude it's <laughs> i mean do you want so me to send you everything i did last night all you got was the you know the, the one. Oh well this no, is nice this is a little yeah but it looks like he's pausing mid making the list like he's trying to think you no know, he's thinking oh he puts a lot of care into this you care about this list don't you Jim? <laughs> you care about these cd vibes <laughs> 
Oh, uh, okay. So you're, oh, every 50, I'm going to have a pick. That's, I just don't understand it. Cool. Glad to have your support as usual. What was the, what was the thought process on this? Let's break this down. You just want everything represented in terms of time frame. The thought frames? process was we start this list. Mm-hmm. Which I'm not going to reveal yet because Amin doesn't like it when we talk about what we're doing. Oh, you can talk about whatever you want to intro. talk about, man. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. Well, he doesn't I don't like doing the intro anymore. Avoid. You guys, you guys wait, 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 wait. Hold my on. Joy. Time you stole out. my joy. So Time it doesn't out. Time out. Are those glasses? Oh shit! <laughs> Where? <laughs> they kind of the are. Chimp. There's like. Oh no! Oh wow! It's like. Oh, and, it, and those stems are tucked under it, that hair. Yeah. It can't decide. It's really just on the outside of his eyes here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, That's, those are frameless. Fuck. What the hell is AI doing, dude? Well, it's <laughs> it's writing in a notebook. It's got to be able to see its notes. Okay. I like Put it, your when, glasses it, it on then. When, it, when, it, when it brings its own flourishes to it. It's yeah. like, I know you didn't ask for this, but, but I check this out. Yeah. Uh, just, a just a hint yeah. of glasses. Just a hint of my glasses. My thought process was I want to try to avoid recency bias and okay. I wanted to challenge myself to diversify my picks throughout the rich history of Cinephobe. And mm-hmm. if I can't do it, if I can't get it done, if it's a category that's just not going to make it happen, I won't do it. But this one worked out pretty well. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like I don't want to give too much away. I think I have a pretty good surprising list. We all know what it means going with, but, and I also laid out what's for one, to I, I kept one off my list. I'm like, I don't want to do too early. I think it's going to be near the top for maybe both of you. So I left one off completely that I would normally have on. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. But I, I, do, like, I want to, I want to be specific. Here. I don't, I do not want this called the Carla Gugino award. CT five. What? So this well, she's never been a bitch wife. She's you never brought been a bitch it up. Wife. But my question is, he actually I did not. Bitch wife. But like, we're saying X's don't count, right? No, nope. oh, no, no, no. I said play jazz. I okay. asked. I asked that clarifying question, and of course, Zach said, "Let's argue about it." You know, I didn't argue about it because that's fun. Well, if you, you feel like arguing, you feel like arguing. Man. We can argue about it All later. I didn't say on the pod. All that time I put in, and I'm the fucking delivery boy. Yeah, yeah you I'm the, the fucking arguing boy. Mm-hmm. All them years. All them years. All them years of doing Cinephobe CT5s. and <laughs> All them CT5s. All them CT5s. <laughs> All them CT5s <laughs> more, what, in my notebook. More, and I'm the fucking racist? delivery boy. What's more racist? All them years or Dante Jackson as a name for Coolio? <laughs> Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Lewis Piddock is renamed Dante Jackson. Combination. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. No, I wasn't calling you racist. I'm saying if, oh. if they named if it was a combination John character and white man's burden, Dante Jackson. Oh, I thought if you could, they named them OBK Fix. <laughs> <laughs> what if, if it was Louis Pinnock, would it be more racist than Lewis because of Louis Armstrong, you know? Uh, I feel like Louis No, because it's still Louis like Louis the, Prima yeah. or yeah, Louis okay. C.K. It's an Italian Louis, thing. Yeah, yeah. Louis Anderson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Louis Pinnock's pretty pretty good name. It It is. Like, it's... It's, it's, it's pretty ambiguous. It's, it, it's the type of name that if you told me it's a black man's name, you'd be like, I believe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> this idea is just straight up bad. That algorithm is busted. It's among the worst ideas I've ever heard. Top five, easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I don't do an intro. It's, this is CT5, Cinephobe Top understand. 5. I, 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 so I'll help you understand it. I used to take joy in this. I used to write notes on how my intro was going to go. I used to yeah. have like a t- tweak it a little bit of time about using a different term for navel gazing. And then you guys yeah. shamed me for it and you stole the joy. You robbed me of my joy. When so did we really- shame you for it? 
oh no, you gotta do your little thing. And like, you guys do that. You did that multiple times. The last time I do my did little it, thing on every fucking regular and episode. I, I, like I, never give you sh- I never give you, you shit for it. You I, can I'm if always you want supportive. to. I'm supportive. Well, I'm, a I'm a good always teammate. I'm a good teammate. What can I say? I'm always supportive. I'm a good teammate. I, I, <laughs> man, that's my fault, though. I should have known who I was playing with. It's, so. it's your it's fault playing fault. with. It is my fault. Yeah, I'm, I'm, who are you I'm playing not, with? I'm not sloughing the it's blame. It's my fault for being such a good teammate. <laughs> Pretty much. Being what's your, what's your greatest on. weakness? That I that I work too hard. That I try too much. That I care yeah, too much. He nailed this job interview, man. <laughs> Pretty much. He's really Anyways. got me thinking. He flipped it on me. Now I'm thinking. Now he's mm-hmm. asking me the questions. Mm-hmm. We go through City of history. We pick our top five in different categories this week. They call it Gugino bitch wife. No, that's We're, not what it's oh, called. Oh, it's, it's just the bad called, spouse okay. award. The bad spouse award now. Yeah. When again, as we said in the cold open, does that include exes? And Zach's answer was play jazz. So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, How do you go. become an ex? I'm assuming it's because you're a bad spouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can yeah. kind of project yeah. or you know, we okay. can guess on some of this. So we'd like to pick two outside looking ins before we get into our top five. The order today mm-hmm. will be I go first, Zach goes second, Maze goes third. My first OLI outside looking in, Robert De Niro and the fan. <laughs> Unhinged, yeah. left his kid at a game and got <laughs> on the freeway. Got on the freeway. <laughs> He left his kid. <laughs> he was he was gone driving for at least four hours at, at Candlestick Park, right? Yeah, this is yes. pre Pack Bell. Yeah, there's no public transportation trek. out there, man. No, you are stuck it's out a there. trek. Yeah, it was on my phone or anything. Mm-mm. It was on my OOL eyes. I was trying to remember. Doesn't he like show up to his kid's birthday party and? Make an absolute ass of himself. A, makes an ass of mm-hmm. himself at the birthday party. Makes a scene at the at the ex wife's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's just some, she's trying to move on with her life. She's got a new guy yeah. in her life. She's trying to do the best thing for her kid, and he's just an absolute lunatic. He mm-hmm. is the, an awful, awful partner. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, my first OLI. This dude will not put down his devices. The second he sees any kind of female attention, he starts drooling and trying to show off. It's Mr. Fantastic. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. (laughs) You have Jessica Alba, a super, uh, not just Jessica Alba, but a superhero of a woman, a very smart woman, very accomplished. You can't get off your little fucking Game Boy? The the plot of Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer is... Mr. Fantastic doesn't want to get married. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's he does not want to get married. It's him of trying to avoid getting married. <laughs> the so entire many movie. Movies. The entire <laughs> movie. He gets he gets conned into it at the end in Japan. Like he that, puts like the they world him. at risk mm-hmm. to avoid a marriage. Yep. I had, didn't get to that one. That's great. Really? I forgot oh, about wow. him. Yeah. 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 Mr. Fantastic. I, I thought he was too low. What is it? The thing? Ben Grimm? Twists his arm, or no, it's Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Storm. Yeah. Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Oh, Johnny Blaze. Twists his arm, right makes yeah. him have the bachelor party. But once he's there, very oh, comfortable. He got real into it with red dress, didn't he? Yeah. The big mm-hmm. bang, baby. All right. We, we saw how she reacted. My OLI. This man doesn't feel like being around people, he neglects his wife. He doesn't want to take her into the city for dates. He does want to initiate sex in his basement because he's too busy jacking it in VR all the time. It's Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Lawrence Angelo from Lawnmower Man. I feel like he's just consumed with his work. That's all. That's what he told her, but he can't even take her to the city. He's breaking promises left and right. He ends up lusting Mm -hmm. after his neighbor with an abusive husband. Mm-hmm. And in the regular movie, she disappears, and that's that. We never talk about yeah. it again. He drives her away. In the director's cut, she gets brainwashed by the lawnmower man into becoming a Stepford wife. Yeah, oh, yeah. and right. it's a tough look mm-hmm. for her. But yeah, 
And he smokes cigarettes in bed, which is an absolute, oh, yeah. absolute and ripping no. heaters, ripping heaters in bed. Yeah, uh, that the sheets must smell awful, oh, terrible, oh. terrible. It's funny how like fabrics w- among smokers don't smell like cigarette smoke; they just smell like some awful other smell. Have you ever noticed yeah. that? Almost like, like um, th- it's almost like the tar portion of it. Yeah, of yeah. a cigarette, you know, like it doesn't smell like cigarettes, so it, but it smells like a tar like substance. Yeah, tar baby. Nope. Oh. My second outside looking in is a guy who is in a relationship with someone who should not is not qualified to be in a relationship. He takes advantage of his partner. He uses his partner not only for his own personal gain but also for his professional gain i'm talking of course of dr peter elliott the scientist from congo <laughs> yeah yeah he's oh, exploiting fuck, I didn't think of him exploiting amy left and right i thought Ply, of plying her with alcohol mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he's an That's awful a, spouse oh honestly like I, oh. I will admit Pretty. this was a negative this was a blind spot for me because when I thought of Congo, I thought there's no way Amy could be the bad spouse here. But I completely, you're right, Peter Elliott. Yeah, Amy, Amy, yeah. Amy, oh. just being Amy. She's a hero. She's yeah. a hero. Gorilla. And a victim. She is. Mm-hmm. Doctor. Yeah, she's Dr. a good Elliot. gorilla. Doctor Elliott, piece of shit. Mm. Yeah, also, he has the nerve to hit on Laura Linney in front oh. of Amy. Of course, two timing son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. That All right, my next my OLI. It, it never crossed my mind. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's a good one, though. That's a good one. I'm mad I didn't have that one on my list. That's a... Oh, fuck. Um, all right. My next OLI. Two things I don't like, all right? I don't like someone who's extremely controlling. You know, I, I need my alone time. I need my I, my time to myself. I need my time to, to do whatever I'm going to do. And one thing you're never going to do is take away my masturbation privileges. It's Amanda Pete saving Silverman. <laughs> yep. yep. Don't. I had her on my OLI. She did. Not to be fair, she didn't take it away. She, she threatened, threatened it. To take she, it. Yeah, she, she threatened, threatened it. Yes. It away. Yeah. Yeah. But I no, that's not happening. Mm-mm. Yeah, I considered. I considered both of them honestly, because Jason Biggs is such a. Yeah, bitch, I thought about him too. Yeah. And she's supposed to be <laughs> controlling and awful in the framework of the movie, right? They have to. Yeah. She's taking Jason Biggs away from his friends, but really he's the problem because he's he needs someone like that in his life to tell him now, what to do and take away masturbation privileges. Mm-hmm. Now, let me tell you what almost kept her off my list. I like what she did with that Arby's. Oh, yeah. I like what she did with that Arby's chain. Of, like, yeah. almost, almost saved her. But no, she's on my list. Fair enough. All right. My next OLI... I feel like we didn't get enough examples of this person in a relationship to really Mm -hmm. raise their profile on this list. It might be why we're here. Mm. He is the bitch husband. It's Emilio Estevez in Judgment Night. (laughs) But really all we get, and we get all we need from this scene, but really all we get is him on the porch talking to his wife in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, he establishes himself as the bitch husband very early, but he's more yeah. of just a bitch, to be honest. It's not like he's, he's the cool bitch, with anyone right. else. He's yeah. just a bitch. He's yeah. a bitch friend. What you yeah. call, call Linda? Have he's it, a you bitch know, the show, that, that show you you like that is show. on. You know the show. The show, you know, put, I don't know the put, name of put, put baby to bed and, you know. He doesn't know <laughs> the name of his child, which no. makes him an awful partner. But yeah. as Chef Reactions pointed out, He's whining about being in the house for three months when you got to tack nine months on for his wife. Yep. Who's going on 12 months of not really mm-hmm. being able to do anything. Like mm-hmm. I said, would have loved, would have loved the scene at the end where he sees his wife again for him to really solidify his case as a terrible husband. Yeah. But, or, or he does just, enough to get OLI. Or a scene where she just breaks up with him after all that. Yeah. I would have loved that. When he, came home, his he comes yeah. home, he's like all tired and he's yeah. dirty and his clothes are ripped. They're like, honey, you'll never believe the night I had. And she's like, you'll never believe 
Yeah. The ser- you got served these papers. Yeah. These, the and I'm leaving papers. you for, for radio. <laughs> he was probably an even worse spouse when he was allegedly a bad boy. Oh, my God. piece of shit. Now, Terrible. This, yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah, this is him cleaned up and like a mm-hmm. good dude now, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. this is rehabilitated. Hey, listener. Zach Harper here from Cinephobe. Yeah, that podcast. It's a good one. Ascertain. Telling you right now, prize picks. That's the way to go. Prize picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million members. The easiest and most exciting way to play DFS is just you against the numbers. You pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. It's demon time. That's right. You're asking, what what does that mean? It's demon time. I'll tell you, demons and goblins, the newest and most exciting way to play at prize picks squares marked with red demons or green goblins. Get you different payouts. You can now win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks. That's insane. That's insane of prize picks to do. You know what else is insane? They offer injury insurance so that your entries stay in play, even if one of your players gets injured for football and basketball games. If you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player projection won't count against you, and the rest of your entry stays alive. Prize Picks is the only DFS platform with an injury insurance policy. And by the way, they now offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football, basketball, any season you're playing. Me personally... I'm taking more than points on Joel Embiid all the time. I'm taking more than assists on Tyrese Halliburton. I'm taking less than points on Jordan Poole. Those seem to be the easy money makers for you. And you're probably wondering, Zach, how do I get involved in this? You go to prizepicks.com slash ding and use code ding, D-I-N-G, for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash ding. Use code ding, D-I-N-G, for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. All right, we're into the top five now. My number five, this person, again, lies, uses people, is a bully, uh, definitely... Uh, exists to feast off of the social climbing climbing ladder of 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 kind of I'm high status and everyone else is beneath me. Mm-hmm. I might be suffering for some recency bias, but Mike Dexter from Can't Hardly Wait. You're oh, a real wow. piece of shit. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh man, duh. I didn't even think of him. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good pick. That's a, that's a good pick. He's awful. Oh, He's man. An awful. Like Jesus. I'm surprised again. I'm surprised Amanda stayed with him for four years. I mean, high school people don't know any better, you know. Either that or he's got one hell of a hog. It was probably he didn't, better he didn't when have he hog was, energy. No, no hog probably energy. Better when he, he didn't was have hog winning energy. Football games and you know they were. Yeah, doing at that stuff point, together. it's been a few months since the football season. You know, that's yeah, a good he's, point. He's focused on what's next at this point. Mm-hmm. He's not focused on his relationship. I don't think he was necessarily awful for four straight years. Maybe he's awful in the movie though. Mm-hmm. For sure. Every, yeah. everything we see from him, he's yeah. terrible. And, and based on saving, I don't get the vibe that this is a guy that he just turned now at the end because he's about to graduate. No, 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 no. He's no. always been an awful piece of shit. Yeah. He's probably been cheating on her for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. My number five, I did call an audible here. I don't know if you guys saw me writing, but I did call an audible here. Cause I did, I was torn on these two. I knew my OLIs, but I was torn on these two for number five. And I had previously written Pierce Brosnan lawnmower man, mm. but yeah, I, I, but maze maze took him in the OLI and I thought, okay, <laughs> that's enough of a sign that he got taken earlier mm-hmm. that I'm going to switch to my other choice. So this guy mostly is just a bad dad. But yeah. he is a bad husband, too. Yeah. He abandons his family. Now, I don't mind him spending a lot of time away for work because that's just the work that he does. Okay. But this guy well, is obsessed with working out. He is a horrible dresser. He left his sick wife and oh. lied about letters that he wrote. All the letters he wrote were what that mouth do, not how's our son. Uh. It's Sly Stallone over the top. 
Yo. Yeah. Lincoln Hawk. 100%. Okay, so, I don't know. Okay, all right, all right. So let me stick up for Lincoln Hawk. Oh boy, here we go. Because he, he didn't want to. He didn't want to break up with her. It was the family thing. She didn't want to break up with him either. It was a family. Then why did dynamic. he leave? Then why did he leave? Because that's what the family wanted, man. Like, sounds like a sounds like a bitch husband to me. No, no. Yeah, yeah I think you're you're not giving him a fair shake. Yeah, I've given him more him, than a fair shake. I had him on my OOLIs, yeah. and then I wrote you hundreds of letters. No, I, I was just. Didn't I know you got cancer, but what that mouth do still? Like that's all. That's all the letters were. <laughs> yeah. So they're divorced <laughs> in the movie. I can't remember. Yeah, like he, yes, he, yes, they're divorced. But again, because I just it's it's not them. It's like her dad was like, right. Right. This guy's a bum. And Lose I remember. Yeah. I remember her being incredibly sick. Yes. Well, yeah. He. Cancer. Yeah. But don't worry. And he, he'll give her a phone call every once in a while. Terrible. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's again just sexting that's through letters. Good, that's man. all he cared about. He didn't he would he didn't care about her. He just wanted to go grip other men publicly, yeah. competitively. Yeah. That's what he was mm -hmm. about. Driving Gripping trucks. men competitively. We've all been there. Maze, you're number five. All right. Amin's not gonna like this one. Uh oh. I know this for sure. This would you pick Gotham character. City? <laughs> This character blazes a trail of destruction in his movie that is truly remarkable. First, he's too picky. Oh, I thought you were going to He breaks say up with fiancés because they weren't good enough. He finds <laughs> any flaw and he magnifies it. Then mm. he goes the other way. He's not picky enough. He's not discerning enough. He rushes into something. It's Ben Stiller as Eddie Cantro in the Heartbreak Kid. <laughs> oh, he was on my list. He was on my list. He gets He's married a bad, too quickly to Lila. Immediately regrets it on the drive mm -hmm. to the honeymoon, as we've discussed. And then he lies incessantly to her. CT5 liar. We'll get to that another time. Cheats on her. Then, can't deliver while sexually. he meets the new woman, he establishes... A horrible foundation of trust by lying to her, lying to her family. Mm -hmm. She goes home. He tries to break up her new marriage, follows her, tries mm -hmm. to fuck up her new marriage. 18 months later, he's married again to Eva Longoria, and he's ready to throw that away. This man is a serial horrible spouse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, yo, hold on, man. This dude, he got taken advantage of, first of all. Let's start there. This woman lied to him, Melinda Ackerman, lied to him first. Wait, how did she lie to him? She said she was a marine biologist and shit like that. And, and okay. she's I mean, she didn't lie. She just didn't tell him certain things. No, 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 well, no. no, no. There. He, he, got, he got duped into this. By the way, dealing with a lot of family pressure. His father is on him to get in a relationship. His best friend is on him to get in a relationship. He was in a relationship. She left him. His friend relished it. Rob Cordry. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. That's uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's he was on my. Uh, he didn't make my list, but he's on. He's in the notebook. He's he's a bad dude, man. Look, uh, and it's by the, the way, by the way, think of everything he sacrificed to go be with Michelle Monaghan. And then she still said no to him. She kicked him out, and he he was home. Yeah, he, he lied to, to her too. He had to sneak. Yes, but like sometimes you do think I get it. It's an awkward situation. He was look awkward he situation. Was gonna, he was gonna break up with Melinda Ackerman either way. At meeting someone new wasn't like impetus for that. That I don't car think he ride was. down that car ride down to Mexico was the impetus. Yeah, he was. He was. Let's stuff. move on. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Number yeah, means get number, upset. I mean, yeah, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. You guys, you guys picked a good dude. That's a good dude, man. I didn't pick him. That's Maze. I'm just. I I said, I'm with he's him. He's not a good he's dude. He's on my list. He's, he's on my. Dude. He's on my, I don't on my want, page. I don't want him marrying and then immediately breaking up with he was anybody a, that I a, know. He's a bad spouse to two people at once. And he's a bad yeah. theoretical boyfriend to the third yeah. woman. Mm -hmm. Number four. This guy, uh, you know, sometimes you guys have bad spouses, someone who's a philanderer, someone yeah. who's a liar, someone who, like, treats the other spouse poorly, right? But sometimes being a bad spouse isn't about necessarily, like, an intentional, I want to be bad. Sometimes it's about, 
I'm just up to my responsibilities. I'm not okay. meeting the expectations. I'm not doing my spousal duties. So my number four is Michael Brody from Jaws the Revenge. I had him written down. His he woman is come. red to go, and he mm -hmm. can't make her come. He can't he get can't it up, and he can't take the trash out. Yep. He's obsessed with his mom. He's obsessed with his mom. He's got mommy issues for mm -hmm. sure. Big time. For sure. He's he's more concerned with Hoagie fucking his mom than him fucking mm -hmm. his wife. And by mm -hmm. the way, might be in the closet because he's fucking oh. goddamn Mario Van Peebles. Yep. Oh, that's right. Remember, oh, that's, oh, yeah. Remember yeah, yeah, yeah. The dress, I think like, there was oh, a whole, what, what mm -hmm. there, there was yeah. like a triangle rhombus situation mm -hmm. going on. A lot of sides there. Yeah. 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 I had yeah, them both a great as my OOLIs. You got to remember that he missed her statue unveiling. Completely yes, forgot about did. it. Oh, that's Too right. Too busy yeah. on the boat. Yeah, he's That's bad. the only thing oh, she cares shit. about in the whole movie besides mm -hmm. their kid, I guess, is that she's working on this hideous statue. And then right. doesn't show but up. She's also like kind of supporting them, right? She's getting paid a lot of money for that. A lot of money. Money. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. You, son of a, you son of a bitch. You don't even respect her enough to make her come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. Not, she's not guiltless in that, though. She's not a great spouse Dog, either. How, how, wait, hold on. How much? What's she supposed to do? How much patience? How much she's patience throwing is herself, she supposed to have? Throwing herself she's at throwing him. Throwing panties. She literally threw her panties in his face. Slingshot and, that shit like she's Bart like, Simpson. <laughs> Cowabunga! <laughs> don't have a cow, dude. <laughs> yeah. Zach, you're number four. My number four. I don't have a lot of uh, rules or things I look for in relationships. You know, you want trust and everything. One rule I have, and I don't expect us to spend a lot of time on this. It seems pretty straightforward. Uh, don't fuck your brother, Leighton Meester. That's my boy. She fucks her brother. <laughs> She's going to marry Andy Samberg. She fucks her brother. She's been fucking her brother. Not stepbrother. Brother. Dude, someone give I me, forgot give about me, that, dude. Let me, let me put the Bible. As a, all right, I'm sworn in under oath. Yeah. Can't remember a single plot point yeah. in that movie. But yeah. I saw that movie. You remember that? I, I, vaguely. I think that was a golden <laughs> I remember that me. scene. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember it, the. It's an incest movie. The beginning, right? When, like, with. Eva Murray, Susan Sarandon's daughter, is the teacher. Repeat I remember offender. all that. I don't remember I, the Leighton Meester, but now that you've refreshed oh, my memory. I saw I saw her right yeah. the other day. Yeah. yeah. She, she's tall. Yeah. Real life. She's like yeah. five yeah. Taller yeah. Than, she's tall. Her, da her yeah. dad taller is than tall. Susan isn't Sarandon. Her, yeah. Isn't it Tim Robbins? Her, her dad, dad is not Tim oh, Robbins. Because yeah. oh. her name is Eva Murray, not Eva Robbins. Oh, that could just be a stage name. Yeah, she's ma married. She could be married. Yeah. So you think that Eva Murray took right. neither of her famous parents' names? Yeah, she got trying to make it on her own. Trying to make it on her own, but mm -hmm. yet you texted the group, saw Susan Sarandon's daughter, so I don't think it well, worked. Remember her that, fucking name? But also, that's what she's fighting. That's what she's yeah. fighting, Maze. Right. She's fighting I know her. Like I know her from New Girl. I, and I know her from the that's the fuck my boy. Out of spin Alley, man. This is fucking <laughs> annoying. Everything's a spin. <laughs> oh, what's my your number spin alley? four? You it out, man. My number four. I hate this next one. The most. I think I hate them even more than the Damn. top three people on my list. It's the Gilmans from Amos and Andrew. <laughs> oh, I forgot about them. They're crowd chasers. Oh, shit. They're, they're faux liberal. Oh, that's they a are great. One another. That's deeply, a great pick. Deeply racist. They yeah. are the worst spouses ever. What did they name their, their dog? It was like Goebbels or something? Their what dog is, their is named name? General Rommel. Oh, wrong. After right. the desert fox, they have the the sex grease, the studded mm -hmm. leather body harnesses. Well, let's not king but, shame them. Hold on, yeah. I'm not king shame them. I'm just pointing it out, just naming what they got. And the main thing is that they are responsible for the whole movie. They're meddling. Their nosiness. Mm. That's true. They call the cops on Samuel, and then that, that makes them bad people. Not necessarily bad partners, though, right? Because bad partner means you're bad to your partner, not necessarily bad to others. Mm, like, good that point. Wrong. Good point. No, that's a good point. I I hear what you're saying. I understand. My well, interpretation he's, he's was also, is he's that he's also been he's been married like 18 times. He's been married Remember? a bunch of times. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay, so okay, yeah. so now we've narrowed it down. We're establishing yeah. a little bit. Yeah. 
she's she's also really really obnoxious and annoying and she's Ooh, always she married him she married him she just married for the him fame. for the fame she's oh a that's star right fucker. yeah so, yeah star fucker yeah bad relationship he's one of those chicago like seven or whatever yeah. star star <laughs> or, or whatever <laughs> doing a lot of work there yeah but yes then they continue they keep they they cause plot lift off and then they keep the plot going with all their meddling and trying to cover their own asses and trying to keep the tape and all, all that right. stuff so all right, my number three. This one I should probably should be higher when I think about it, but this is someone who is involved in a life of crime. This is someone who infidelity is an issue. Ooh. This is someone domestic abuse is an issue. Whoa! This is someone where statutory rape is an issue. This is someone who has murdered people. It's DMX and Belly. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> wow, I just glossed right over Belly. I forgot that. Yeah, he's he's got a Real lady. Piece of Tom, shit. Tommy Buns Bundy. Tommy Buns, or, or as we call them, DMX for short. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh man, I forgot about that completely. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah, every bad dude, bad he's dude. He's an awful He's a real being. bad dude. Yeah. Nas all the way you, around. Can, Nas you can talk yourself either. into Nas. Yeah. No, but you could talk yourself into Nas, Nas a little Nas, bit. Nas, so. Nas loves T Boz. And he does yeah. right by her. They just want to go does, to Africa. Who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah. He does right by her. DMX, he's cheating on he's cheating on, on Tarot Hicks with the sixteen year old. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he's lying about it, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then he's grabbing her and stuff, and then mm -hmm. he's killing people, he's selling drugs. He's he's yeah. he's a maniac, man. He's a bad dude. Yeah. Bad partner. That's yeah, a good you're one. right. Yeah. With that resume, and, three is and, a little surprising. And when he fucked over some other people, they came to his house and tried to get her. Luckily, yep. she's strong mm -hmm. enough to defend herself. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. Zach. Number three, it actually pains me to throw this guy here because um, I do think he meant well, uh, but the, like we gotta be honest, he's just not a, he's not a good partner. He borderline like disrupts this woman's work, her studies. He did the whole Jim Halpert thing from the office where bought a house without telling her. Oh yeah, you know, there is <laughs> yeah. absolutely zero. Yeah. sexual chemistry. I'm not convinced they've ever fucked. He is a thief. He's an honest thief, but it's Liam Neeson. Honest thief. <laughs> wow. And hit Zach. me with the, hit, hit me with the award. Hit me with, with the award. Sweet, yeah. There's That's zero. Crazy. Yeah. He's a like, look, he gets all this money, right? He does most the most money. heist in cinephobe history. And and sets them up for down the road and everything, buys a house or whatever. And then just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give it away. You did. So now you have no nest egg. Now you have no safety net. Nothing. You did all this for what? Just to avenge your dead dad who got screwed over when he retired. And so you're going to do all that. And you, and now you're going to leave your, your wife. You're, you're turning yourself in to go to jail, to go to prison. So you're just leaving her forever. Yeah. Come on, man. That's a bad spouse. Zach, what does he tell Sweet Annie that he did for work to make all that money? <laughs> like a safe, safe repair man. Yeah, you repair because, safe, which is not a yeah. job. It's a lucrative <laughs> business. I mean, it, it is a job. It's a job it's that not. gets called on once a year. It's a part-time <laughs> hobby. It is. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put that on my list. He's. My other like main OOLI. Yeah. I wanted to put him yeah. on because I thought it would piss hey, you off. I'm and you stunned know how to much, hear that no, you have it. You know, well, check the name. What does that say down there? Honest podcaster. Well, yeah, after the, after that movie, so I'm surprised you don't have his back. But the other thing is, he doesn't pay any attention to her life. She Zero. calls him. He has no shit. idea doesn't what she's doing. Him she's studying for about the big exam, and he's like, "What? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so proud room. of you. I'm asleep. I've, I fell asleep. I've been sleeping on this couch, and mm -hmm. later on, he tells her, he tells her that she gives him the same feeling as robbing banks and defusing bombs. That's romantic. 
That's a romantic Home right there. Annie. Right. Home He's a bad Annie. spouse, man. Maze, you're number three. Number three. Oh my God. The dishonest <laughs> husband. She doesn't want to get married though, because she was married before and Oh, that's right, yeah. Doesn't want to go through that again. So yeah. they'll never get married. My number three, man, I thought of this person late. Then I realized that their resume needs to be recognized with a high placement on my list. It's an unemployed sack of shit who <laughs> listens to patriarchal podcasts, has his yep. wife hooked up to a VR machine oh, against forgot. her will, wow. brainwashed oh, and imprisoned in his house. It's Harry Styles and Don't Worry Darling. 100%. I knew, wow. Without a shadow of a doubt, I knew Maze had that on his list. I oh, the dude, lane. I didn't even think of that movie. I skipped right over it on the list. Holy shit. You're right. It came to me late. Like I said, I yeah. I wasn't thinking of it. I you know. Plus, plus, I will never, never forgive him for that atrocity of a meal he tried to cook. Oh, oh that, that was bad. gave me so much what? anxiety. Hold on. Hold on. He's not a cook. He's he's a dancer. No, he's not a dancer. He's a podcast. Look at the boy dance. He's a podcast producer. <laughs> Look at the that's, that's what he is. <laughs> Oh, that's all why that dancing, he's, he's all that dancing. <laughs> that's why. All that's that why dancing. I, that's what I thought Maze was going with. He's like, I will never forgive him for like yeah, for what for, 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 for being a podcast, a podcast producer. producer. That's my block. He doesn't produce podcasts. He just listens <laughs> oh, to them. Oh, basically uh, does. He, he's at his computer. He was cutting, man. I yeah, he was cutting, man. He, he was, was he was cut. putting together a reel. He's putting Chop, together. He was real. not cutting Chop, shit. Yeah. He was br- all right. Whatever. He <laughs> tried to cook one of the worst meals. Oh, I've man, ever seen. So bad. Not yeah. only was it terrible, he made a huge fucking mess. He lit things but, on fire. He's a disaster. Also, it was in VR, wasn't it? Yeah. When yeah. he tried to cook the meal. So yeah. like, mm-hmm. can't you just fucking program that shit to be good at it? It's not even real. That's how realistic he, that's the how VR bad he was. Is, as being is a that spouse. He yeah. sucked even in the game. Yeah. <laughs> even with the sliders <laughs> adjusted all the way to the right, this motherfucker yep. still can't still couldn't boil do potatoes. Yep. Number two, this is a guy. God, I, I wish he hadn't been so thorough earlier. It is Eddie Cantrell from Heartbreak. What? Oh, come on. I Whoa, had to do dishonest uh, no, podcaster. I, he's just, he was, look, man, I'm going to tell you what. Because at any given point, he could, like, I don't blame him. I, I'm serious. He mm-hmm. was going to probably ba- break up with her anyway. He actually tried. And then, like, something came up, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then he continued to lie. <laughs> and then, so much. like, <laughs> Michelle Monaghan, yes, I called it an act of love, an act of romance. It's also the act of a stalker. Yeah, oh, he can, stalks her big time. No, he goes He's to dangerous. her house, dude. She's yes. married. Or she's he broke in, married. didn't he? Didn't he, he break broke in? in to her where she's in bed with her dude. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, yeah. Like it's next level. Like, dude, like sometimes you got to just be like, okay, that's the one that got away. Yeah. Take the it's L. Great. Take the L. And then he went back to Mexico. And you know what, man? I'm Michelle Monaghan. She's cute. She's fun. But man, if I found Eva Longoria and I'm living oh on a beach in Mexico. Oh my God. Bitch, get out of here, man. Like you <laughs> kicked me out. I would have, I would have basically grabbed Eva Longoria and be like, this my woman now. Mm-hmm. No, he's awful. He's awful. Yeah, he's, he's pretty awful. bad. He's awful. And the, the other thing is that he gets good advice. It, well, not like his dad? necessarily how to be <laughs> honest, but like his dad and Rob Corddry are both giving him fairly decent advice, at least not to be a lying yeah. sack of shit. Yes. Yeah, so like when your wife mm-hmm. asks you to cock her, by you cock her. God, you cock her. And like yeah. he had a problem. He couldn't perform. Well, right. you can keep up with her sexual appetite, which again, that's another hallmark of mm-hmm. a poor spouse, poor partner. Mm-hmm. 100%. Zach, number two. I'm, I'm taking a pair here, okay? I'm taking two people, mm-hmm. and I think yeah. you guys will let me get away with this. Mm-hmm. One is a cocaine-addicted, drug-riddled whore. And her husband is an unhoused gentleman wow. relying on his 11-year-old son to play <laughs> hockey enough to get them a house up in Canada. It's the parents <laughs> from MVP, Most Valuable Primate. 
I knew it was this coming. drunk loser unhoused <laughs> gentleman of a husband and his coke addicted whore wife <laughs> just whore. why do they have two children oh man when, when they knock Canada, on the door she opens it and she thinks it's her coke dealer and instead it's like the book club <laughs> it's the book club she's like fuck she's sweat man she's scratching oh, like, I'm, yeah, I'm having withdrawals here <laughs> yeah no these two I couldn't decide between the two of them. I said, fuck it. I'm picking them both at the same time. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, that I'll, loser of a dad. <laughs> just, he can't provide for his wife. His wife is too coked out to help him with anything. And they're both just relying on their son to be a professional hockey player. Unacceptable. Bad spouses. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be back for worse parents. It's only a matter mm-hmm. of time. 100%. going to be a multiple CT5 achievement. Mm-hmm. My number two, for most of this movie, you think it's the man's fault. You think it's the husband's fault. But once you get towards the end, you realize that they're a package deal and that they're awful. It's Matthew McConaughey and Kate Beckinsale and Tiptoes. <laughs> yeah. I only oh. had Kate Beckinsale down on my list. Oh, uh, but no, you're right. McConaughey. Yeah. They're you McConaughey right. no, they're, they're, yeah. is the fit he awful. throws when he finds out that the, the child is going to be a, a yeah. little person. Yeah. No, man, that's McConaughey. Well, for sure. Yeah, he, no, 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 he's bad. But, but she's also like but she, her end. stupid hats. Yeah, the hat. The or, yeah, the, the end. end. Yeah. She, so, okay. It's, it's, a, it's a roller coaster ride, all right? Mm-hmm. She tells him she's pregnant. He flips out yeah. and doesn't explain why. It's because his family are dwarves and. This tears their relationship apart. He leaves to go on a fireman retreat somewhere. Not a real to thing. To train people. That's when what's, Gary on, Oldman what's, shows up. What's what's less of a real thing, Zach? A fireman retreat or being a safe repair man? Ooh, that's, it's a safe repair <laughs> well, man. I train firemen yeah. on two week long retreats. A so safe I made repair man as a full time paying gig where you can buy a house. That's yeah, the yeah, that's yeah. Le- less a lucrative thing. safe repair man. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when Gary Oldman shows up. She meets the family. She's starting to be okay with it, right? They eventually reconcile and they get married. Mm-hmm. He hasn't addressed mm-hmm. a single one of his issues. So then, as soon as the baby is born. He flips out again and he says, what I need Mm -hmm. are new chromosomes. Damn. He says this to his baby mama holding his child. That's tough, man. That's tough. What a piece of shit. (laughs) 10 minutes, 10 months into the relationship, he flips out again. He leaves. So then she goes to Rolf's cabin in the woods, kisses him Mm -hmm. on the lips for the second time. So... You know, Zach, you had Leighton Meester banging her own brother. Mm-hmm. Now we've got we've got Kate Beckinsale jumping from brother to brother. Brother mm-hmm. to Mc- brother. brother. <laughs> McConaughey comes up and apologizes, and she's like, I'm good. I'm going to stay with Rolf. Yeah. End movie. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah, wow. that's a good pick. All You're right, right I should have had McConaughey on there, too. Before we unveil the number ones, I like doing this now. This is we we unveiled it. We did this last time. Can you recap the list so far? All right. Amin went first. He selected Robert De Niro from The Fan, Dr. Peter Elliott from Congo, Mike Dexter from Can't Hardly Wait, Michael Brody from Jaws the Revenge, DMX from Belly, and Ben Stiller from The Heartbreak Kid. Shocking. He's only gone with men so far. It's going to pull the rug yeah. out from under exactly. us on this last pick. With Zach's, or do or do you want to do mine in this? Zach, Mister Fantastic, Amanda Pete from Saving Silverman, Lincoln Hawk from Over the Top, Leighton Meester from That's My Boy, Thomas James Dolan from The Dishonest Thief, the parents from I MVP Most it. Valuable Prime. No. <laughs> Where is the old CT five names? Oh, I've got, I've got, I've got to adjust. I've got to adjust. Hold you on. Forgot, you forgot. You forgot he was Thomas James Dolan. <laughs> yes. Hold on. You keep. You keep reading. I'm going to go look at my names list. <laughs> yeah, Maze, what's your... <laughs> Mine, Pierce Brosnan from Lawnmower Man, the bitch husband mm-hmm. from Judgment Night, Ben mm-hmm. Stiller from Heartbreak Kid, 
mm-hmm. the Gilmans from Amos and Andrew, Harry Styles mm-hmm. and Don't Worry Darling, and wow. Matthew McConaughey and Kate Beckinsale from Tiptoes. Yeah. That's a good list so far. We all have a good list here. I like Nays, this. Really quick, before I unveil my number one, could you go into the CT5 names and drop the OLI number two racing commissioner, Leighton Gilson, and replace <laughs> it with Thomas James Dolan? Honest thief, though. He's an honest thief. He's a dishonest That's husband. Dishonest. Dishonest, 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 dishonest. He's an honest thief. He's a withholding husband. He's a dishonest Withhold- thief. <laughs> all right, guys. My number one. Yeah. I, as you can tell from my list, there's a couple of themes that I touch mm-hmm. upon, right? Being a genuinely awful person in your life, that's pretty big. Yeah. Being awful to your your spouse or your partner, that's pretty big. Withholding of kind of like intimacy or not being able to meet the intimacy kind of requirements of your other, that's mm-hmm. a bad thing. I'll throw in also being there for the wrong reasons, so being money hungry or whatever, and genuinely, uh, and also being a homophobe. I'll throw that in there as well, mm-hmm. along with along with being a racist. It's the bitch wife from Carbon Copy. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, she's awful. Yeah. She's awful to him. Mm-hmm. She's awful to she's awful to Denzel. She's no, awful he, in general. He's not great either. I didn't say I he's had them both. He's not okay. He's not he's not on my top five spouses either. I'm just saying yeah. she's yeah, okay. the right. absolute right. yeah, worst. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, she's a real bad person. Yeah. I had the two of them. I had the two of them together uh-huh. on my OOLIs. That is an awful family. <clears throat> the the misogynist manosphere grandfather, the shitbag little preppy lacrosse dating daughter. The all of the Whitney's can go fuck mm-hmm. themselves. Yeah, and somehow Denzel ends up in the mix. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zach, my number one. Uh, I'm afraid you guys are gonna fight me on whether or not this was actually a spouse. Mm. Uh, but I'm gonna a couple of things: uh, abandon, abandon someone very close to him, and we saw in that diner he did not make her come. It's Matt LeBlanc and Ed. Yep. <laughs> it was clearly an issue. Their intimacy was clearly an issue. He's so obsessed with himself, but also like he fucking sucks at his job. So he's he's chasing a bad dream. Uh, he abandons Ed when when Ed needed him the most. He eventually like goes, oh, I'll help him. But no, like, come on. You, you were going to abandon. You want her to abandon her daughter if she gets kidnapped too? Like, come on. Ed, like Matt LeBlanc and again, did not make her come like and and had didn't try he clearly didn't try to make up for it in any way nope. during that time like there there are some real intimacy issues there jack deuce cooper <laughs> you see what Dude. you see what zach did here i mean was that what, what i do what he did what? here what did i do ed and mvp or his top two movies yeah. here he found a way up there too i want to sleep number three <laughs> yeah, it's quite a big three you got there. The, that's my boy. Yeah, I got the Sandler verse in there. All right. Number one. I'm curious. Yeah. I'm curious to see if you guys thought of this person. Because once I okay. once I went through the crates a little bit and went over it, this guy blew Emilio out of the fucking water in this category. Like, I thought for sure Emilio would have a, a solid position. Mm-hmm. That he'd be the bitchiest husband of them all. No. There's a bitchier husband. And he's also a strong lifetime legacy ass on contender. It's David Caruso in Kiss of Death. I don't remember. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even let me, have him. Let I me forgot take that you, he was with, he's with Helen Hunt, right? He's with Helen Hunt. Let me take you down I memory lane down. here. All right. So he's yeah. an ex con who gets out of jail. He mm-hmm. doesn't support his wife by going to AA meetings with her. He makes right. her go by herself. Then he leaves his baby face down on the couch when his shitbag cousin, Michael Rappaport, shows up. I forgot. (laughs) Face down on the couch. He's trying to resist (laughs) Michael Rappaport, but he still goes along with his bullshit. They go and they do their like stolen car scheme or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he ends up back in jail. Mm -hmm. So Helen Hunt has to go work for his shitbag cousin, Michael Rappaport, who sexually mm-hmm. harasses her, who 
you know, th- like underpays her and basically alludes to the fact that if she sucked his cock, he'd pay her more. Then he gets her drunk. He takes advantage of her. He rapes her. She wakes up distressed. She backs into traffic and drives right into a truck. That is all because of David Crusoe's actions. That's what started yeah, the whole thing. That's a good pick. That's a terrible spouse, right? It's a good pick. He's yeah, not done, a bad though. spouse. He's not done, though, because we're not even halfway through the movie. So what does he do after that? He marries his dead wife's sister. Have to. Is that how you make it up? That's family. how you make it up to the family, yeah. That's, that's just good math. All right, you got to double down. That's twice. Two times the worst spouse, David Caruso. I'm looking at my cutting room floor. There's like 30 names. I, it's, I've got so many names on my cutting room floor. I've got quite a few. All right. So let me get started with this. Yeah. The widow from Teddy Rex that hits on Teddy Rex at the funeral. I didn't <laughs> think of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you're literally burying your husband. Mm-hmm. And not only are you ready to, to get, move but on. We don't, we don't know a T-Rex you're customs. Gonna, you're going to move on with this bingo. I know that part. <laughs> we we don't like, know like, T-Rex do customs. Oh, we know. We know. We know that. We know that part. <laughs> Maybe like, we don't. She, she could. She could have fucked anybody. Any other T Rex. She, she, she chose went for the that bingo. bingo. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> As he's talking about cookies. <laughs> um. Look, I I don't know whose fault it was in the relationship, but I tend to side with this guy versus his ex because she ended up putting her daughter with the porn king of Southern California. Mm-hmm. It's Hugh Jackman's ex-wife Yeah, in Swordfish. Yeah, Drea Mateo. Yeah. Yep. And you know, I love her. Like, that for me to <laughs> I marry her, her. I do. Oh, yeah. God. You said that a little, a, too, a little too desperately. I would take a bullet for her. Oh, my God. <sighs> That's fair. I had on my OOLIs, Deborah Messing from Long King Paul. That was my next, yeah. She leaves. Oh, yeah. She leaves my man Ben Stiller high and dry. Gets married. Gets, gets, scuba. gets banged out on a honeymoon. Come on. And then and then leaves him too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She broke Claude. Claude's heart. She broke yeah. Claude's heart. Uh, I've got this next on my cutting room floor. Uh, husband is trying to do something monumental. Provides for this family. She lives in a life of luxury, and all she does is whine, bitch, and complain. It's Adrian from Rocky. <laughs> I had Rocky Four on my list. He's also not I, great for going to Russia. He just leaves. I'm gonna go oh, train in Russia. For free. Russia. Right. How ba- for free. Hold on, Maze. How bad of a of a wife you have to be for your husband to be like, look, I'm going to Russia for free. In the middle of the Cold War, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> and and I'm I might die from this guy. I'm gonna and fight, I, but I don't care. I'd rather do. That shit. I'd rather catch. He pneumonia. killed my best friend, We're who's working in better out. shape than and, I am. And he's he's got to focus, right? He's got to concentrate on on this fight. What does she do? Shows up. Yeah. To distract him. Yeah. It's a bad relationship. Uh, I think this guy. Look, he was a bad dad, but I also think he's a horrible husband. He has absolutely no emotion. He's too tied to his military career. It's Will Smith and After Earth. That's a bad husband. <laughs> I forgot. Dude, he was very. He has see, absolutely zero emotion. <laughs> They have a they have a dinner at one point in a flashback. Yeah, he let his daughter die. Yeah, but, or, yeah I mean, like he's yeah. come, so he's he a horrible, horrible spouse. Michael Douglas in Disclosure. What? Yeah, I got I got him there too. Hold on, he Are was you doing kidding all me? the right stuff. He was doing dying. all the right stuff. Doing no, all no, the no. right stuff. Look, he put man, his dick he, in her mouth. He's so fucking him. self he righteous. Raped. He made him. She, that was made right him. Easily went in he there. He was sexually assaulted. Easily. Number, one. number two. Oh, you know what? Easily. On my cutting room floor, let's just keep it going. Michael Douglas's wife. What? For fuck, <laughs> during the look, all you gotta do what? is sit in. The, all you gotta do is sit in this hearing and be like, "No, my husband doesn't do shit like that." Instead, she spills all the beans right there in a glass conference room. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. My cutting room floor. Chow men. <laughs> No, I was just kidding. <laughs> get down here. <laughs> hey, like Chow man, I want to settle urge. something. You get down here right now. Like uh, urge. This broke motherfucker puts his family in danger because he can't afford any kind of vacation other than to swap homes with the mm. people in Troll 2. It's the dad mm-hmm. in Troll 2. Yeah. yeah. Horrible yeah. husband. Him, she's bad too. Horrible husband. She's yeah. bad too. Oh, she's don't bad too. No, don't hook. get me wrong. She's hey. bad too, but he's worse. You don't piss yeah. on hospitality. 
You want to talk about worst families, top to bottom? Oh, that whole that's family's a bad got a lot family. of yeah. issues, man. Mm-hmm. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of weird families, I had Christopher Lloyd and Shelley Duvall in Suburban Commando. Yeah. Not great. Not a great relationship. Yeah, Christopher bad. Lloyd, what was Christopher Lloyd doing? He was, he was doing his best. It, it was he? He was. He was trying. I mean, I, I like I said, it was all a lie. I thought of them. Mm-hmm. They're not doing great. Okay. They didn't make the list. Right. I didn't dive too well, deep into it. I got another one for you. John Ritter's wife in Problem Child. She was an mm-hmm. absolute She's terrible. Bitch. Yeah, and she's terrible. And she was just marrying him for the money and because mm-hmm. his dad was running for mayor or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with that. Um, he, he leaves his wife and two kids after the birth of the second kid. It's John Travolta and look who's talking to. Oh, yeah. He's a horrible yeah. husband. Yeah. yeah, he's just like I'm out of here. Uh, you have you have a second kid. I'm done. Like yeah, let's get out. Like, eh. He's ready to go. He couldn't wait to get out of that apartment. Like Mr. Fantastic <laughs> and Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> What happens in Vegas is kind of a loophole because they're competing to be the worst yeah. Yeah. and try to screw each other over. And then eventually they decide they love each other. So that was kind mm-hmm. of a confusing one, mm-hmm. but it had to be mentioned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got the wife from the commuter. No, she's just chewing, don't do she's that. Chewing out, she didn't in the do car. anything. She's she didn't do anything. She's barely in the movie. But no. she's, uh, she gave me a headache. This I was like, oh, my God, this bitch. That's 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 I'm how I Annie. felt. Listening to her chew out poor Liam Neeson, who's been, he's three years maybe away from should, retirement. Maybe not anymore. Maybe he should spend more time trying to secure extra income rather than doing fucking book reports and watching his kid yeah. jack off on Chatterbait. Okay, maybe yeah. that maybe he should be a better spouse. Yeah, he's a bad um, dad. That's for sure. Again, I wasn't sure if this would count as a spouse, but they're clearly dating. Uh, I don't trust her because she's going to go bang anyone that'll give her a story. It's the reporter in Bloodsport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no journal- integrity at all. No integrity at all. She will go handy anybody that gets her a little bit of that story. As long as she gets, like, her, sc- long as she gets her scoop. Mm-hmm. JCVD should not trust her. Mm-mm. This guy is bad across the board, but he's a terrible husband. Doug Coughlin, cocktail. Is he a husband? Who's, who's yeah, his at, the end, at the end? Kelly like the Lynch, right? Third act. Yeah, it, he marries Kelly, Kelly Lynch. Lynch and yeah, oh, he wow. commits suicide. He's but yeah, he's he kills himself. trying to bang other. Ch- he's trying to bang other chicks the whole time. Yeah. He's coggling, whoring Scoggling her law. out. Coggling it's law. Bang so everybody. confusing, dude. It is a lot going on. He's just terrible, dude. Is he a worse Zach- spouse or bartender? No, he, he invented drinks. What are you talking about? He invented like, he's, he's drinks. Great, yeah. He, <laughs> he's, he's great. The red eye, he, red number, eye. Yeah, yeah. He's number two in TGI oh, Fridays. And dreams. I see it in yeah. pink neon, blink, blink, blinkity blink. T- TGI Fridays, uh, like runner up, Northeast Division. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's definitely. If he doesn't kill himself, he is a taffer specialist for sure. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Zach, you mentioned this name earlier, but for a different movie, I'm mm-hmm. going with Amanda Peet from Saving Silverman. She That's the torched, movie you picked. Uh, no, he picked. Uh, did you? Sounds pick? like you want to. Like you want to what, what, a girlfriend? Did you pick wet, wet hot American summer? Not once. Not, not once was that mentioned. I said she's going to take my masturbation privileges. That's not wet hot American summer. That's nope. Saving Silverman. That's okay, like my suck my own dick is the can and. Wet Hot American yeah. Summer. No, but isn't there like a bitch wife in Wet Hot American Summer who's like holding sex over Bradley Cooper's character, was it? Bradley Cooper's gay. Okay. No, so no. I don't know where you're going with any of this. But There's a, I, I'm, I'm, I got to go back and listen to it. I, I remember this. It's kind of a All cosmic right, well, gumbo. Okay. And, and then I'm going to go with Rachel Vice and Envy. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. Is why? that Ben Stiller's fault? I think it's Ben Stiller's fault. I, I mean, look, fault there. he wasn't he wasn't being a bad spouse and quite the opposite. They don't have they have a limited amount of they're on a fixed income. He's not going to fall. Jack Black's track record. What in his track record says that this is going to be a good idea. This dude is talking about stamps that you mm-hmm. can lick. No, man. Like this dude was being conservative fiscally because they don't have a lot of money. And now she's going to mm-hmm. hold it up against them. And then he didn't even do anything. He's just going to take the kids and go to her sister's house. Bitch wife. Oh, okay. Win song. <laughs> and you know that. Uh, 
This is a bad husband. This is a bad husband. Because even when she's trying to figure out, like, look, we're not together right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how we're going to afford anything. I got to live with my mom. She's like, I miss you. He says, yeah, I'm horny too, baby. It's Louis Pinnock. Yeah. It's a bad husband. Yep. Had to be had to be said. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you, yeah. you unbelievable, man. She's not great All either. He is they a have, marriage. She's not great the, either, but I put that on him. I think the tough part is that we don't get any time before he loses his fucking job, man. Because then he really right. falls apart, yeah. right? Yeah, I feel before like he, he loses really, his job, he does, I feel like they might have been okay. They're he loves her. Broke. He cares about her. He wants to protect her. I mean, and he's willing to do whatever it takes. But yeah, like in that moment when shit's going wrong, he could have had a little bit more empathy toward her feelings. <laughs> I'm holding to, baby. Yeah, that's, that's a bad risk. All right. Um, oh, Mace, go ahead. These two kind of are in the same situation. It's like looking at a future version of yourself. It's Joe the Hummer Tanto and Bo Brandenburg and Driven. Oh. They're a little too career obsessed. They're thinking about yeah. their racing at the track. They're neglecting the women in their life. And then that woman moves on to another racer. And then you feel bad about yeah. it. And you want her back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with the bitch girlfriend from Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> she doesn't even know how to turn on a microscope. And she's like on Todd Howard's ass the whole time. Like I'm, I'm actually supposed to be here. I got the grades and stuff. She's stealing books and stuff. Like she's, she's just all the way. And then she brings him up. She brings him a bucket of chicken when he's he's a wolf. She's racist. She's awful. Get her up out of here. (laughs) Okay. You Um, don't even know how to turn on a microscope. That makes you a bad spouse. uh, Microscope, microwave. What? What? (laughs) Micropenis. Oh, Oh, no way. Not the wolf. (laughs) Micronesia. Hog. Um, this guy completely unhinged, so bad with money. Puts how his have we been, how have we been recording for now? I know, I don't know. There's a puts lot of his bad family passes. puts his family at risk constantly financially. You know why? He's a he's a tiny Italian Godzilla. It's Al Pacino yeah. in two for the money. Same no two. Same no two. He's awful. He's such and a bad. Is so is so she great. She couldn't be nicer. Yeah, she oh couldn't be better. Oh my god. He yeah. he even is the one who essentially is like trying to force her onto McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't think she, she, Renee is interested in that shit, but he wants At to all. cuck so bad that he keeps setting up these situations. He's terrible. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, a couple of stepdads cutting it up. I had Doug Ray Scott from Taken 3. Yeah, I had him in there. Yeah. Bad guy. And then I have, he's not an evil stepdad. He's just a bitch. He's the bitch stepdad. It's Ed Helms and Coffee and Kareem. Oh, wow. I don't remember that at all. I Quotes, remember none of that movie. Sometimes a stepdad is a step in the right direction. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. I got, oh, all right. So. This one was a hard one because ultimately this person was actually correct in all of their Uh suspicions and assumptions, but still kind of a bitch about it. And also maybe a tinge of racism with it too. It's the mom from Money Talks. Oh, (laughs) yes. Yes. That's a good call. Also Reno's wife. Yeah, that's a good call. Yep. Um, Look, I don't want... To have to look after your Jack Daniels drinking cat. I don't want little canisters of film everywhere. Also, we don't shame here, but she is a sex worker. It's Chloe Webb from Heart Condition. She's going around okay. like that's not a good spouse. Yeah. Come on. He's yeah. not either. He's no prize either. He's don't get me wrong. He's bad too. I don't like film canisters everywhere. A whole bowl of them? You're not getting any of that shit developed? Yeah. What's your do- what are you doing with your just hobby? Takes just takes she just takes pictures and that's it? Man, you never sees I, You can't never know. tell she's bad. This is, you know what? Maze is mad because someone who takes pictures got yeah, thrown in here. Yeah. I'm yeah, mad. Yeah, we that you're not throwing them. Bob Hoskins up there. He's I mean, such it's a obvious piece of he's shit. bad. Of course. Okay. He's the worst. He's right, and he's racist. He thinks of fucking Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis. I mean, look. <laughs> count, the the well, yes. count, the ri- count the rings. All right. I'm going to save my last one. You guys keep going until you're 
Oh, I've got so list. many more. I've got, uh, hold on, I've got one, I mean, just two, rip off a bunch right now. Three, okay, four. I've got Kate Walsh and her daughter in Legion. Oh, mm -hmm. not, not, not her daughter. I'm sorry. Kate Walsh in Legion. And, and then and then the, the pregnant one who oh, yeah. uses Jeep, but never mm -hmm. like never lets him get All in right. Here, well, whatever. let me say this. I got Jeep. <laughs> no, fuck dude. You. Jeep. No, yeah. Fuck, fuck you, you, man. That's fuck you. No, Jeep is a fuck terrible you. spouse. What? He's not a spouse. He can't. He's, he, he's trying to be. He's, he's trying the to be. He's fucking delivery boy. He's, he's stepping up. He's not a stepdad. He's a dad. He's supposed up. to do. He's supposed <laughs> to do his job, and he's making he's an a bad absolute employee. tetanus filled rocker for this child that's going to have nothing but splinters and infected nails poking this kid. I don't the know, only man. good thing he does is catch that doll, whatever that was, that dilapidated baby. baby. Yeah, it was a baby. Yes. His his stepchild. Jeep's bad. Not his stepchild. No, man. You 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 you're awful. You know who else who else is awful? Uh uh Jennifer Garner in Invention of Lying. Yeah, she's bad, yeah. But she, I mean, she's being honest. Yeah, I mean, but she treats him like shit though. Like you can be yeah. honest without being mean. And she was mean to poor Ricky Gervais. Mm. I think you're attacking the world here more than you're attacking Jennifer Garner. I don't know. I just think I think I think that she What was about Rob Lowe in that movie? Oh, I mean, he was just a piece of shit though. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. Uh Dashi Dashiki from Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Dude. No, no, no. no what the no, hell, no. man? How don't many do how many how many you're guys she's trying to entrap? You're king she's shaming. To, That's not, not her king fault. Shaming. She's but easily getting pregnant. Impregnated. Getting pregnant is, is is a kink? So for some it is. <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh, look, man, I think if you're going to be so reckless at your job that your kid watches your fighter jet explode, it's the dad in Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah. That's it. No, come on. What is that? He left his wife. He left his wife. He left his wife. No evidence of that. He left his wife. That's all I need. Really? I just need that little bit to see how bad he, he didn't even try to get out of that fighter. He's like, I'm leaving this bitch. <laughs> That's, Ga that's an O O L I for a reason. <laughs> Gabby Gabby Union, Bad Boys Two. What? You're gonna fuck, you're gonna fuck your brother's partner and then keep no. the secret too. She's a bad no. sister. Bad sister, not a bad spouse. He's okay. the no. one at fault. No, yeah. no, no, no. You're 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 right. You're right. I take yeah. it back. It's not Gabby. It's the no. ginger from Can't Hardly Wait. Now this might be recency <laughs> bias. <laughs> She's what? awful. She's awful. And then she acts like she don't want it, and then she fucks Seth Green anyway, and then she tries to break up with him, and then she not fucks really him again spouse. in the bathroom. Not really they, they're together. They're together. Yeah, they're together. I mean, we're, yeah, we're out of, I like, spouse territory. Spouses. We're no, into no. this She's dating a partner. territory. She's well, a, yeah, all right, you know what? Mm -hmm. Preston Myers. Yeah, yeah, I thought he would come up on someone's list. To be he's, yeah, he's a I future, about, he, future he's a horror spouse, show man. of a spouse. Yeah. It doesn't get any better for Preston Myers at any point. Yo, Preston? Uh, let's see here. Christina Applegate in Hall Pass. No. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought about Hall Pass, and I think they all yeah. kind of like Jenna Fisher's a good, okay. a good spouse. Jenna Fisher's but, a good spouse. Yeah, Christina, Christina Applegate, Applegate, though. Terrible. Yeah. Um... Ooh, I've got I've got a combo here. If you, if you okay. need some, yeah, some go for it. Combination. The okay. couple from Assassins. The fighting couple. Oh, the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, yes, the neighbors. That's yeah. a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. Um, now we didn't really get to know much about her, and I'll admit, I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but I think. I'm 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 gonna be a little worried that Todd Wolfhouse girl, his wife, in Beerfest is a bad spouse because Shiloh the Silo is always being thrown in your face and she's done nothing to dispel those rumors. You know mm. she's done nothing to make him feel better about it. And let me tell you, he wasn't packing corn in that thing. Are you guys done? I've got uh, two more. What else you got? 
I mean, look, I technically not a spouse, but I feel like he was becoming a spouse. Gordon Bombay. This drunk oh, fuck. I had the, I had <laughs> no one's the marrying too. that fuck. Well, no, he, I he think was the, going the out. Fucking, the tutor. He was going out with the kids. Yeah, he was going out with the kid's mom, remember? In the, in the first one, or that's what you guys told me. I don't remember the first yeah. one. Yeah. And then the He's, tutor, yeah. and then the I, Icelandic trainer. Yeah. And this I, dude's yeah. a bad okay. spouse, yeah. man. All right. No, yeah. all right. Okay. And that, so now let, me, now let me rush through all the other ones that are. That kind of on on my cutting room, cutting room floor, right? Like I got through the main ones. Uh, yeah. John Travolta in Battlefield Earth. What coach? John Travolta. He, he teaches his wife like shit, and he's like, yeah. "Oh, oh yeah, 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 a female, yeah, yeah, yeah. like You're all right. that yeah. shit." All right, coach from Action Jackson. Although like Sandstone was his woman, but like he treated like shit, man. Mm. Uh, Ed Helms in the Goods, real douchebag. That's why your girl left you. Uh, about Fred it, yeah. Claus lying incessantly to his girl yeah. and like two times behind mm-hmm. her back. Um, the main bye bye man who suspected that his girl was cheating on him with his best friend. Um, bye bye man. Sean Astin, bitch, and in then oh, oh god, I'm not counting I, that as a spouse. Uh, earlier I said uh, Daishiki, but also Ashtray, <laughs> who when <laughs> yeah. when someone was opening fire, he said Daishiki, I'll call you, and then yes, <laughs> booked it. He ran so fast. That highest velocity in Cinebub history, except for maybe Hurricane Smith. Mm-hmm. Hurricane Smith running away, <laughs> maybe a little mm-hmm. faster. Uh, Pete Bell in Blue Tips. Uh, he keeps yes. ending up in his wife, flying her yeah, down yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. and lying to her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Norm, because he talks about <laughs> like he want, he's really in love with this girl, but she doesn't like him. She likes warriors or whatever. But then all he does is fucking incel behavior, whistling it's at bitches good. and shit it's like good, that. It's good, huh? Yeah. Uh, you said Emilio in D two. Paul Walker. We don't know. We don't know their culture. We don't know their culture. Okay. Paul, Paul Walker, Walker in timeline. timeline. No, the girl in timeline. No, Paul Walker. He was. She's out there was, banging his dad. But he was super jealous of her at every turn. Because she's Maybe. banging his dad. Good I point. didn't think and, he was that bad. And, and finally, mystery lion. So shocked <laughs> that no one had. <laughs> He's telling you, I, I'm I an awful that, partner. I thought that was going to be on your list. I thought that was going to be your number one. <laughs> 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 no. Completely up front. Bitch, bitch wife from Carbon uh, Copy will never get I got, I got one last one um, that I'm shocked no one mentioned. Because she was the bitch wife. Betty White. Hard rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was bad. Betty White like her, bringing down the house also. was. Also but, was she, bad, I don't know she, if she was a wife. Yeah, She wasn't a wife. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Keanu uh, and Street Kings. Forgot about him. Oh, oh. we don't know yeah. what he was like. I mean, I we, we can, can assume guess. he was bad, but he probably got way worse. Post he's got the punctuation, dude. Yeah. But to I mean, but no. But then he's going out with he's going out with the nurse. I forgot yeah, about that. Think he's that. treating, think he's yeah, treating he's her bad. well? No, he's he's bad. He's he's bad for sure. Uh, make sure you send us your wait, CT5 wait, wait. My list. Last one, my last one. This oh, is you a got loophole. One. It barely it barely qualifies as a cinema movie. It's Larry the Cable Guy and Jingle all the way too. No there way. You go. Now that's, that's, a great, me. that's a great dad and a great great husband. dad. Yeah, bad husband. Try to bad bring husband. snow to his kid, man. Try to bring Chris. To... Y'all just don't appreciate effort, but I see it. I see it, Larry. <laughs> At Talk Hoops, at Darth Amin, at Corn Puzzle, at Cinema Pod, at Count the Dings, at Larry the Cable Guy. Give us your CT5 lists for Get it done. worst spouse. <laughs> Next time we make love, you introduce me to Jade.